Approval from the FDA for the COVID vaccine is expected today. So what exactly does this mean for Hawaii? And what about the allergy warning from health experts? Joining us now with more details is Lieutenant Governor Josh Green. Good morning to you, Lieutenant Governor. Thanks for joining us once again. Good morning. Can we talk more about specifics when it comes to the vaccine and its arrival to the islands? I know you said sometime next week. Do you know exactly what day and what day could those first doses be administered? So thank you, great question. We expect uh, doses to be shipped 24 to 48 hours after the FDA emergency use authorization of the Pfizer vaccine. It's all but guaranteed to be approved. And that means that mid next week we can be receiving them. And we've set up um, massive processes to begin vaccinating people immediately after that. The first batch in 1A, uh, that's phase 1A, would be to mostly healthcare workers and people that are living in long-term care facilities. So we could be vaccinating people next week. We expect to get 12,675 uh, doses, which is 13 trays of vaccine in the first week. And can you explain the allergic reaction that some people are seeing in the UK? A lot of people have allergies right now and they might be wondering, should I be getting the vaccine? My understanding is that people who have severe allergies to medications or anaphylaxis, the word anaphylaxis means a severe allergic reaction that is systemic, so you can't breathe properly. That kind of allergic reaction is not consistent with getting this vaccine right now, and we're gonna ask people to wait a little bit if that's their condition. It should not affect very many people, but we don't wanna rush into it. And as you know, this vaccine, though well-studied and well-tested, has been accelerated. We don't want to take any risks. And how's the state handling the distribution and more importantly, the storage here in Hawaii? Well, distribution is a complicated matter, but we're doing it based on population for each county. And we're also doing it directly to a lot of our healthcare providers who are our key partners. We actually have over 150 partners. I'll be having a meeting at 6.45 this morning right after we've been together with the Healthcare Association President and CEO to continue to make sure those details are in place. It won't be perfect. I want to, I want to uh, remind people, not everyone will get vaccinated right away, but getting this start gives us a lot of hope. So we have partners in, for example, Queens, Hawaii Pacific Health, Hawaii, uh, Hawaii Health Systems Corporation, Castle, and so on and so forth. But we have so many vaccines to get out there that I think people are just gonna have to be a little patient. Uh, it's just amazing that we're getting it uh, started in calendar year 2020. And last question, I know it's going to be a, a while until it reaches the general public, but once it does, how does that work in terms so of, one, of where do you go? How do you sign up? How much it it cost? Well, that, that's a large question, which I'm sure we will be talking about for weeks. Uh, first, the easiest answer, it will not cost anything to the consumer. That's our expectation. The federal government's covering the costs. States and insurance policies will cover the small admin fee. So we will be able to get it to people irrespective of their ability to put any money out. That's the only fair thing to do. Now, as to where they'll get it, most likely they will get it once we get into the general population in the springtime, probably mid to late spring. It'll be like at pharmacies. We have national partners in CVS and Walgreens, and we're now in talks with Safeway and others. We'll try to make it really simple that way, but there will be some mass vaccination centers where people will be able to go on specific days and believe me, we'll be here on the news with you and in the papers to make sure everyone knows where to go. All right, Lieutenant Governor, I know you have an extremely busy morning again, dealing with the vaccination and the plan, but you are gonna stick around and answer more viewer questions in just a little bit. That's my favorite part. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. For now though, we're gonna go ahead and send things over to Chris.